Okay, let's talk about why this is in fact not a triangle. It certainly looks like a triangle. I mean, there's a triangle here and there's some values, but why is this not a triangle? Well, what I'm gonna teach you here is a very important geometry concept and has um, algebraic um, applications as well. Something you definitely wanna learn and put away in your math toolbox uh, because uh, questions like this come up pretty frequently on a lot of standardized tests like the SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, uh, GED possibly. So you kind of get my drift. If you're taking any kind of test, you'll see this. So if you're studying any math level from algebra and beyond, you definitely want to learn this. And it's up to uh, me to try to, um, you know, really teach you this in a way that you're going to remember it for the long run. Okay, so I'm going to get into this simple yet powerful concept in just one second. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over many years I've constructed a ton of online full comprehensive math courses. All my math products have taken me literally years to build. So they're super high quality and comprehensive. So whether you need to take a full online math class or you need uh, uh, math help with your math class, you should check out my math help program. I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video. Also, if you need some uh, good pair of math notes, everyone should have a good pair of math notes. If yours aren't the best and you want to pick up a set of uh, notes that I've done, uh, I have pre-algebra, algebra 1, geometry, algebra 2, trigonometry. You can find the links to, to those underneath this video or in the description as well. Okay, so let's get to this. So why is this not a triangle? Again, if you look at it, it's like, well, you know, there is a triangle here, but it's the values. The values are not right. Okay, now what is not right with this triangle? Well, we're going to get to that right now. Okay, so what I'm going to be teaching you is something called, uh, basically, it's called the triangle in a um, triangle inequality. Okay, uh, triangle inequality theorem. There's a couple different ways that a couple different names it goes by, but the principle is the following. Okay, this let's actually take this triangle, scoot this guy out of the way. Let's take a look at an actual real triangle, and then we'll get back to this triangle. So, and I'm just going to sketch this out. Okay, so a real triangle, all right, let's take a, a right triangle. Let's say this is three, four, five. Okay, so three, four, five is in fact a real triangle. Okay, this is a real uh, right triangle. This is what we call the Pythagorean um, triple, okay, because this is the longest side, okay? We're talking about triangles, so we might as well talk about the Pythagorean theorem, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, okay? Now, what I'm going to be teaching you isn't um, applies to all triangles, but I'm just kind of reinforcing this little triangle bonus here. So just to uh, prove that this, in fact, is a real triangle. So 3 squared plus 4 squared is equal to 5 squared. Let's just... Check that real quick, okay? That's gonna be nine. Plus 16 is at the same as 25, and nine plus 16, of course, is 25. So 25 is equal to 25. So in fact, this is a real triangle, okay? Real value is what I'm saying, okay? This is a triangle, you can actually have one. That's three, four, and five. Okay, so now I'm gonna teach you this triangle inequality concept, all right? This is a property of triangles that is in all triangles if you have a legitimate real triangle, okay? So if you take any two sides and you add them up, it's always going to be greater than the uh, the other side that you didn't add up. So in other words, if I take 3 plus 4, 3 plus 4 is going to be greater than 5, okay? So obviously 7 is greater than 5. That's true, okay? But let's take this combination, all right? 5 plus 4... Is that greater than the one that's missing? Three, it is, right? Nine is greater than three. That's true. And how about this one here? Uh, five and three. Five plus three, is that greater than the one that's missing? Four, it is. So eight is greater than four. So when we take any two sides of a triangle, it's always going to be greater than the, um, the other side that you left out. Okay? This is the triangle inequality. This is true in all triangles okay all triangles so let's take a look at this situation right here so if i go 
11 and 2 is 11 plus 2 greater than 8. That checks out. Here, let me scoot down here. Oops. Okay, 11 plus 2 is greater than 8. Okay, obviously, 13 is greater than 8. All right, no problem there. And then how about this one right here? Uh, 8 plus 11, is that greater than 2? Well, obviously, right? This is 19. 19 is indeed greater than 2. No problems there. But what about this situation? 8 plus 2, is 8 plus 2 greater than 11? And that's where we got problems, right? So that's 10. 10, 10 is not greater than 11, okay? This cannot happen in a real triangle, okay? So this fails this triangle inequality uh, theorem situation. Even though it passes on the other legs of those triangles, this situ right here, this is in fact um, not allowed in a triangle. So you can kind of think of it in this manner. Let's say I gave you like, oh, I don't know, three little straight little, um, I don't know, straws, little straight sticks. Let's say um, one was, oh, I don't know, 10 inches long, and another one was uh, uh, four inches, and then another one was like just one inch, okay? So could you make a triangle from these things? I'd say, hey, go ahead and make a triangle. Uh, here, you've got three pieces of little, little straight stick things here. Uh, construct a triangle. You're like, well, I, I don't know if I could, right? I, let's say I put that one that's 10 right here. But then I'm trying to close up this triangle. I mean, like if I scoop my four right there, you know, I can't connect the one. Maybe I can connect the one like this, but that's not a triangle. That's like a little arrow thing, right? <laughs> you know, so you run into these problems. You're like, well, what am I going to do? I could put like one, the one that's right there, but the four isn't going to reach. So you can't construct a triangle with these three values, okay? So the thing is this, look, uh, 10 plus 4, that's going to be greater than 1, okay? So we'll use these two. I'm just looking at different combinations here. But if I do 10 and 1, is that greater than 4? Yep, 10 plus 1, that's greater than 4. But here's the problem. How about 4 plus 1, is that greater than 10? No. Okay, so you can kind of see it in action this way as well. All right, so this is the triangle uh, inequality theorem. It's something that comes up. Uh, you will see this on test, and hopefully you'll remember this, okay? So one thing about taking test as well, this is very important, a little bonus question um, or bonus tip, is oftentimes um, you'll be given a figure, all right, on a test, you know, math teachers are notorious and test uh, people who make these tests are math teachers and stuff. We you know taking some sort of math section and they'll, they'll, they'll try to like fool you. They'll do give you like, for example, two lines that are like, what, what do these lines look like to you? Okay. These lines look uh, to be parallel. Okay. But if I go like this and I say uh, L and M, if, if I just gave you this figure, and although these lines look parallel, okay, you cannot assume that these lines are parallel. You have to be given absolute certainty uh, that they are. So you'd have to be like L is parallel to M. That's one way to do it. Or I'd have to have these little arrows like this. Okay, if you don't, you cannot make that assumption. Okay, this kind of comes in with like right triangles. So in other words, you're gonna get, they're gonna try to fool you on these tests. So let's see here, I'm just trying to sketch this. What kind of triangle does this look to uh, appear, right? If I said uh, this is 3, this side is 3, what is length x, okay? Now let's say um, this triangle here, okay, uh, was, um, it looked to be what we call equilateral. All three sides are equal to one another. But unless I have absolute certainty, you can't answer this question. You, okay, unless I have this, all right? This means that these are all the same sides, and then, then I can make that certain that this is x is equal to 3, because I could have a situation that's more like this, okay, what we call isosceles, okay? It could technically be that, all right, something along those lines. So don't be fooled by figures, okay, on math questions. you got to have these little um, geometric notation or symbols to validate what's going on. That's a common kind of classic uh, way that math teachers try to trick you 
And they're not bad people. Math people, <laughs> math teachers aren't bad people, despite what you might think. You might like, oh, they're just trying to have to get me. I guess that. Yes, well, in some ways, they are trying to challenge you to make sure you really understand things. But um, again, you got to be on the lookout for these like little trick questions. But this has hopefully been interesting for you. Okay, so now you know more about triangles than you know you would imagine you would have learned all day. Okay, so. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I certainly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you want to know more about mathematics, whether it's geometry or beyond, I have a ton of videos on my YouTube channel, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, because I've been on YouTube for well over 10 plus years. Okay, and I love to teach math. So um, I've organized my videos in certain playlists. So hopefully, you know, um, you can kind of go through, scan through, and get some help there. But if you're really in need of more formal uh, instruction, like my teaching style, then you definitely want to check out my full uh, math courses uh, or uh, just a, a set of math notes can help you out as well. But with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.